in this question it is given that sigma r is equal to 1 to 20 r square plus 1 into r total is equal to you have to find the correct choice actually in this type of questions when some factorial into some linear polynomial in r or second degree polynomial in r or third degree polynomial in r is given to you in set of cases we use telescopic sum method if you don't know what is telescopic sum method for detail you will have to see my video lecture of sequence and series but in short i am telling you suppose r is equal to 1 to some number n is given to you and some expression in r is given the telescopic sum method says that express fr in terms of some function in r plus 1 minus some function in r express the function this in terms of g r plus 1 minus g r where g is some function you have to adjust in such a way and how this function will be obtained this is just common sense many times there is a standard way for converting f r into this form and if the question is not in standard form then you have to use the common sense presently this is the question standard form and once you have got this thing after that start putting the value of r you get g2 minus g1 plus g3 minus g2 and so on up to g n plus 1 minus g n and you can see very easily after opening the brackets this term will cancel with this this term will cancel with the second part of this bracket in this way first part of every bracket will be cancelled with second part of next bracket or I can say second part of every bracket get cancelled with first part of every bracket hence gn will be cancelled with first part of that bracket previous to it hence it will got also get cancelled only the remaining term will be gn plus 1 minus gn and therefore the value of this will become g n plus 1 minus g1 sometimes we have to bring in the form of r is equal to 1 to n g r plus 2 minus g r previously it was g r plus 1 minus g r and usually previous type of questions are there but sometimes in difficult question this has to be done and when you open the bracket you get g3 minus g1 and here g4 minus g2 plus g5 minus g3 and g n plus 2 minus g n previously one term of this and one term of this were getting cancelled when there is a difference of two you will find that a term of this and a term of not directly one the term of this will get cancelled with the term of next one that is third term this will be cancelled with the term which is next to it that is in last the terms remaining will be this 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 and first term of previous bracket that is in this case you will get the answer g n plus 2 plus g n plus 1 minus g2 minus g1 and few more things are also there but for the complete clarity you will have to see my 
वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ सीक्वेंस एंड सीरीज एंड समटाइम्स we have to do in this way also adjust fr in the form of g r plus 2 minus g r plus 1 lambda times plus mu times g r plus 1 minus जी आर एंड आफ्टर दैट यू कैन यूज टेलीस्कोपिसम इन दिस पार्ट ऑल्सो एंड इन दिस पार्ट ऑल्सो एंड यू गेट द आंसर एक्चुअली वट विल बी यूज दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द क्वेश्चन वेन यू आर गोइंग टू डू द क्वेश्चन बाय टेलीस्कोपिक सम आई दर यू हैव टू यूज द कॉमन सेंस और इफ द क्वेश्चन इज इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म देन इट बिकम्स वेरी इजी एक्चुअली दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म वेन सम फैक्टोरियल इज देयर and some polynomial in r is there what i will do see suppose the question is in the form of r is equal to 1 to n some linear expression in n into r factorial if there is linear expression then you will have to adjust it in this way r is equal to 1 to n lambda times R plus one minus one, and it will be surely possible. You will never find it difficult. And once this thing is done, then you will be writing R is equal to one to n R plus one factorial minus R factorial. And when you will open it, the terms will go on cancelling as I told you in the beginning. But if here is some quadratic into r factorial and r is varying from 1 to n in that case lambda into r plus 2 into r plus 1 minus r plus 1 plus mu into r plus 1 minus 1 into r factorial and you can see very easily after this and you can see very easily why i have done of this form because after op opening the brackets i will be getting r is equal to 1 to n r plus 2 factorial minus r plus 1 factorial plus mu into r plus 1 factorial minus r factorial and when sigma will operate with this you will be using telescopic sum here also and when sigma will operate this then again telescopic sum will be used here also here also the terms will go on cancelling here also the terms will go on cancelling and because it is a quadratic equation in r i will write it as 1 to 20 R plus two into R plus one minus R plus one and outside R factorial. If after simplifying it, you get R square plus one, then it is over. But if you don't get R square plus one, then you will have to write. R is equal to one to twenty. Here I have written one outside because if you compare with this with this, coefficient of R square is one here, and here it is one. Had it been two R square, I would have written two outside. And if this is not in this form, then I will have to write R plus two into R plus one minus. R plus one plus lambda into R plus one minus one R factorial. 
let us see for what value of lambda this becomes equal to this r k plus 1 is equal to r plus 2 into r plus 1 minus r plus 1 plus lambda into r plus 1 minus 1 coefficient of r square is already equal on both sides let us compare the coefficient of r on left hand side coefficient of r is 0 and on right hand side the coefficient of r is if you open this you will be getting coefficient of r as 3 minus 1 and here lambda that is 3 minus 1 plus lambda that is lambda is equal to minus 2 and it is sure that if you compare the constant num then also you will get the value of lambda as minus 2 by comparing constant term, if you don't get minus 2, it means the question cannot be done by this way. And you can see very easily, constant terms are already equal. On left hand side, constant term is 1. On right hand side, the constant term is 2 into 1, 2 minus 1. And there is no constant term here. And 2 minus 1 is 1. On left hand side, also 1. Hence, constant number is already equal. Therefore, to do this question, I will be writing r square plus 1 as r plus 2 into r plus 1 minus r plus 1 and minus 2 into r plus 1 minus 1 into r federal. You will find that this will be equal to sigma r is equal to 1 to 20. This into r federal will become r plus 2 federal this into r factorial will, will become r plus 1 factorial lambda this into this will become and this into this will become r factorial i know that lambda is minus 2 and taking lambda equal to minus 2 and opening both the brackets i will be getting r is equal to 1 to 20 r plus 2 into r plus 1 into r fatal will become r plus 2 fatal r plus 1 into r fatal will become r plus 1 fatal and minus 2 it is and here you will be getting r plus 1 fatal minus r fatal this is equal to 3 vertical minus 2 vertical plus 4 vertical minus 3 vertical putting r equal to 1 I get this thing putting r equal to 2 I get this thing and lastly I will be getting 22 vertical minus 21 factorial plus minus 2 and in this part again 2 factorial minus 1 factorial plus 3 factorial minus 2 factorial and so on up to and the last term will be 21 factorial minus 20 factorial and if you concentrate on this part you will find that every term of first bracket get cancelled with second term of next bracket hence in last only this term and this term will be remaining and here also in last this term and this term will be remaining all other terms will, will get cancelled therefore here i will be getting 22 factorial minus 2 plus minus 2 into 21 fatal minus 1 that is I get 22 fatal minus 2 into 21 fatal it is minus 2 and it is plus 2 therefore that will get cancelled hence from here I conclude that B choice is the correct choice.